Ooh, lyrics are icy, living life nicely, very precisely, living divinely, manifest wisely. All I know is that I've been living for the sightseeing. Been around the world for a visit, first class ticket. Man, I'm in it, man, I'm winning. I don't have no limit. If I want it, then I get it. If she want it, then she get it. I Here we are guys, welcome back to the channel with a, another video review uh, of the Adios 3 uh, after 100 miles. You can find all the specs of this shoe in the initial video review available in the channel. I leave you the link up here with all the information related to the weight, the uh, drop, uh, stack gate, uh, and so on, including the running deadlines. So that let's split the video in three different chapters. Uh, the overall conditions of the house, so midsole and upper after 100 miles, uh, my impression and uh, conclusion and the final scores at the end. Outsole now. Let's start from the outsole. I confirmed that the grip is not bad at all. Uh, it is not that stiff like uh, uh, the also in other uh, adios, um, the condition is still perfect, uh, no major signs of wear, uh, despite uh, I run in concrete and uh, treadmill as well, the continental lab uh, is simply great. The grip on the road is uh, strong, for sure it is not uh, a shoe for gravel or dirty uh, roads, uh, but it doesn't collect any stones. So in general a good also, my prediction is that uh, it will last at least uh, other 200 miles, uh, uh, because there are no signs of wear and uh, even in the spot where I used to land uh, like the stand outside of the hill. So for the outsole a good trade-off uh, between quantity, grip and duration. Midsole now! Let's talk about the midsole now. But guys before to go ahead if you like this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with one click uh, and uh, for free uh, you can support uh, my channel and my work. But now let's continue with the midsole. We all know that Light Strike Pro is lighter and bouncier than the normal Light Strike and this shoes as a full Light Strike Pro midsole. So basically it is pretty bouncy and comfortable midsole. Uh, perfect for those one of you uh, love uh, the comfort and the stability and not only for racing. On the other end, if you like the uh, ground feel, nah, that's not the shoe for you. After one of the miles, the missile is still responsive, uh, even though the several wrinkles on it, uh, which make the shoe slightly more comfortable, but still responsive. The spot foam is still in perfect conditions, as well as the energy roads uh, still performing great. So prediction about durability in this case is uh, at least uh, under 250 miles. The harshness tested with the durometer confirms the expectations because it's slightly less stiffer, uh, but the running dynamics are basically the same. Check them out in the initial video review. Upper now! Testing the shoe in Sicily and in the Canary Islands uh, was some of the confirmation of uh, what I said uh, during the initial video review. The upper is pretty cool uh, as the previous version, especially in this kind of uh, hot uh, countries. Uh, this is a positive impact uh, uh, on the performance, of course, uh, because my feet were not uh, hot after a long session of uh, 18 kilometers. This is made of a stylish uh, overlay material uh, which keeps the uh, fit in place despite uh, it leaves uh, too much room uh, in the forefoot uh, for my testers as I mentioned during the initial video review. In this colorway it doesn't get dirty soon and there are no rips or, or other signs of wear. So I would say I did us just a little bit uh, less room uh, in the forefoot, this upper would be perfect. And your impressions? The impression I collected uh, during these miles uh, are that uh, the Adios Pro 3 is uh, very light and responsive, uh, so perfect especially for uh, fast workouts, uh, even in the truck, uh, but not only, it is even good for slow running, uh, it was pretty stable as well. So in comparison to the previous version, the previous version was uh, uh, more slim and uh, lighter, but not stable as this one. That is uh, why even the dimensions are slightly bigger. Especially for lightweight uh, runners, uh, it could be seen as a daily trainer, but uh, this is an expensive shoe, so I would not suggest it. The best feeling I had it was uh, during the uh, running of the half marathon. My legs were not that tired and uh, I felt a great support during running. I believe since the response is great, uh, especially for uh, really fast workouts, uh, this shoe is ideal for uh, interval trainings and uh, temporary. And in conclusion, so in conclusion, for training, uh, uh, interval training, spart leg and tempo run are the perfect fit. Uh, uh, for racing, 10 km, half marathon, marathon and probably even a, a 5 km race. So this is a pretty expensive shoe, but uh, also quite versatile, uh, which is 
work for such kind of uh, elite show. So this is it. I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comment if you have uh, other questions. Remember to leave a like uh, and uh, share the video with your friends and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, a big thanks from myself. As always, as always, thank you for watching. Until the next time, keep running. Ciao. Been around the world for a visit, first class ticket, man I'm in it, man I'm winning, I don't have no limit, if I want it then I get it, if she want it then she get it, I ain't never done, finish, I'm a giver, I've been giving first place, I've been winning, six shots, it's spinning, but I still keep ripping and I still keep hitting two ways, I'm splitting all in, I'm risking it all, yeah, I don't ever fall, yeah, but if I do I can't back up, stand tall, yeah, I want it all, yeah, a good life, I don't think small, yeah, I'ma be big one day, see me taking off runway, my name up in life someday, looking at a crowd that loves me, yeah, I came here to play. Life is one I'm choosing I don't stop, I keep moving Just watch me as I prove